One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Hey so guys, I don't know how I say hey guys Hi guys, welcome to my channel um, this is a Thursday morning and it's a rainy one so I'm presently in the hospital no I'm not sick my teeth have been disturbing me guys I had to come to the doctor like two months ago but I've just been managing the situation and as usual it has gotten out of hand <clears throat> so I called the doctor and luckily for me she now is in Bonaberry which makes it easy because I always used to go to town to yeah. see her so She's presently in Bonaberry and she asked me to come and wait for my appointment. But apparently, because the rain is falling, it's like she isn't yet here. So I'm just waiting for her, but guys, the cold, I had to get up today and wear a sweater. Like, if you see me wearing a sweater in Duala, eh? It means there's real cold. Places are so cold. I'm putting out my slippers. My sister, when my sister sees this, she's going to be like, ah, can I? on my sneakers <laughs> ah, I feel so cute it's so annoying that I'm doing this under the rain because normally I would like to look like this when there's no rain but this is just cold just be peppering people but now with the rain I cannot pepper people 
Anyway, yeah guys, I'm just waiting. I thought I should tell you what's up. I just finished from the dentist and I'm feeling <laughs> and little guys can see. Can you see that? I'm feeling uncomfortable. The, um, they had to use anesthesia, so my left side of my mouth is numb. <laughs> I keep biting my tongue. Yeah, the left side of my mouth is numb. I am presently going to Santa Lucia to buy biscuits for the children. This place is it's not so far from Santa Lucia, it's like 10 minutes walk. I'm, I'm only walking because I don't have coins because you know they normal me. If it's just for me, <laughs> I'll take a bike but I don't have coins. So for me to be able to go, I need to take a bike. So. Let's fool in between. So guys, we are not far. The place is not far from the town. We can look here. This is the sea. In Bolaberry. morning okay guys so this is the next day this is friday and the weekend is about to begin just listen do you get that <laughs> no noise Woo, guys when these kids go to school it feels like i'm in a spa i'm just relaxing and then 12 p.m 12 30 comes and Naira comes back but times like this i just feel really relaxed anyway guys i just want to show you a couple of things footwear and some clothes that my sister and my mom sent to the kids i'm so excited like you know me new things nice things i just want to show you a couple of things so let me first of all show you their bags my mom <laughs> got the cutest bags for these kids like and you guys know i'm really big on bags 
I'm big on back. She labels everybody's back so that nobody gets confused. This one is for Myra. We have Monique's own the glitter queen <laughs> i love this bag and it even comes with a little purse guess who, own, who is going to be owning this purse this purse is definitely going to be owned by the rightful owner so we have this bag i love it i can even take this back to places guys it's not that bad right i like glitter and then she even got this chest back is how they call it for kid and out there um uh, people are trying to do something to my son and kid is excited every day that we will like me my back i don't know when he was going to hold that and then they just put one other extra bag i don't know whether this bag is for an adult or is for kids i don't know maybe it's my sister's bag oh guys because she sent some of her things i don't know but just this bag it doesn't i don't know whether this was sent by my mom or my sister but yeah this bag it's cute and it has juicy written on it in different shades of pink but these two pairs these are just nice slippers that we can wear to go to places, not to serious places. You can just wear these. But normally these are summer beach slippers, but in Cameroon we wear it to stay in the house or to just go around for little strolls around the neighborhood. Um, they brought two pairs and the truth is, they labeled it as Myra, like this had to be for Myra, but it's too big. So I'll just give it to Monique and Kaden. I feel sorry for Myra sometimes because Myra's legs are really small. so majority of the time when people buy her shoes or things like that it's always big on her like it's I, at this point i didn't know whether myra is size 24 or 25 or 26 like her size just varies yeah the next one is this house slippers look at that so then my mom got this for myra kaden and they're so beautiful guys just because of this i'm planning to do christmas photo shoots you know those preparing christmas photo shoots <laughs> those photo shoots where people wear pyjamas taking coffee and things this year we must do our own so here they are honestly it's big it, especially this myra's own is big for her normally this would be like monique size and then monique size would be like kaden size but i'm not doing that myra will wear this thing like that i'm just going to keep it first maybe by december their legs will grow slightly bigger and then they'll go ahead and wear it see we love this and the thing is my kids they always used to my husband and i have these slippers so my kids are constantly wearing it my mom sent me um mine as well but not the same thing mine in white and also white boots and also the white um slides like this but my kids they'll still be wearing it wearing my clothes that's it love them love them so light good quality great slippers i love them but guess what these slippers are almost small for bobo and they just fit monique so since monique doesn't really have any leather slippers i'm going to give her this because bobo has two leather slippers already so i'm just going to give monique this one to be wearing around too. <laughs> i like to buy the same things for my girls so they got these jeans sneakers are these sneakers i don't know yeah these jeans shoes look at this yes this one is still slightly bigger than myra's leg but it's not that bad so she can start wearing them yeah i love them i love the color monique is in love monique is like oh my god the colors she was just smiling and smiling and then the last one is that they got was this and one sneakers for kaden like look at that look at that see where you touch some of these original shoes you just know that eh? you just know that your kids it's all the thing that we buy here your kids are just wearing trash look at that See, Kaden has been asking me, can I wear this to school? No. Can I wear this to church? No. Mommy, where will I wear it? And these two are slightly bigger than his legs, but he definitely will start wearing it because Kaden is going to sleep and dream if he does not wear this. Like, my kids like Abu like me, like my mother, like children. And then also, my mother knowing how my kids love tutus, got them. Tutu skirts, look at that. Beautiful tutu skirts. The same thing for Monique and Myra. That's the top. I love this top so much. It's so cute. Still got them another type. Look at that. Just looks like jazz time, enjoyment time. Joggers. She got these joggers for Monique. I love it. I love the color blend. I love, love the color. So cute. So cute. And then for Myra, she got this one. I like this because now all of them have this particular color because Monique has one with this color, Kim has one, and you know, mommy will be twinning her babies. See, let me begin by saying that all the Karen, all the Karens I know and all the Karens in my life are such amazing people, okay? Very amazing people. So, my subscriber turned sister and friend came in from Senegal and she brought me something really nice. Like, to get this thing, the people at the place, at the station really got me mad, but when I got it, I was like, oh, it's so worth it. Like, this is not something like something I've owned before, but my darling Karen came from 
Senegal and brought me this boo boo. Oh my god, guys! I don't know that I have the strength to to just show you guys how it looks, but it's really really nice. It's just that free free outfit and look at that marking. Look at that. Ooh, really nice. Like, yeah. I just like it. I like it so so much. Like the color, the blend, everything. I like it. So yeah, so guys. That is it. That is all about. Not all. That is some of these are some of the new things I got of recent. I just decided to show you guys in this video. I also have a whole lot of things to make my house smell nice and all that. So I'll be doing a video about that very soon. See, even this t-shirt, my sister told me that was a t-shirt. <laughs> you know the people from America will be giving you things. My sister told me that this is a t-shirt for election that they're just thrown for me. This is an that they just threw inside their things. But yeah, guys, that is it. Um uh, I just want to make breakfast now and eat and sleep because guys I woke up late I woke up late because I slept late I was watching Big Brother all night I was watching somebody win his car somebody won a car and I got up without a car but another person I was watching somebody win their car anyway it was what anyway guys so um let me just leave you here and I'm going to talk to you guys later Hi guys so today's a new week and I have not still finished my old vlog this vlog so i want to <laughs> i just want to finish this vlog and start a new vlog and i also want to quickly shoot a video for my channel before i go out i'm about stepping up so yeah guys i want to talk um if there's one thing that a lot of times women especially stay at home moms struggle with it's just um ways of being creative creative ways of saving money and things like that a lot of us we have some women who are stay at home moms but they'll always complain oh i don't have money oh i'm broke i don't have money because they are not looking for creative ways i always say it here that for me as a mom you have to be very very creative you have to always be looking for ways that you can make money you can save money for yourself and all that so one of those ways that i save money as a stay at home mom as a housewife is just to basically go to the cheapest market see guys i already know that okay if i want nice fresh fish it's expensive i have to go to this market if i want this particular thing i have to go to this market if i want this particular thing i have to go to this market so i know where the cheap things are i know like if i want to get like seafood the prawns fresh fish and all that i'll go to Yupui. yes Yupui is expensive but it's not as expensive as those people who go there buy it and then they come to sell so i know that i'll go to this fish market if i want meat cheap meat i can go to how they call that place um there's a place that they sell meat here i've forgotten the name of that place very cheap they sell a kilo normally in the market they're selling a kilo of meat now for three five but if you go there you buy a kilo of meat for for three thousand especially if you're buying in bulk when you're buying in bulk you're going to see that that's a way that you can actually save money because some people are always like ah but three thousand five five hundred you want to take um you want to leave to go and you, want, you don't want to go to a market that is close to you to go to somewhere that is really far and then at the end of the day the money will not even you will not make a lot of difference let's say i'm buying five kilos of meat and here okay three five um seven thousand 14,000. I'm going to spend close to I'll spend close to 17, 18,000 for five kilos of meat. But if I go to um, the place where they sell meat like that, it's like the Scotter House. I've forgotten how they call it in French. If I go there and one kilo of meat is 3,000, how much do I save? You have 9,000. I'm trying to calculate 12,000. Okay, you buy for 15,000. You're saving up to 3,500. So let's remove plus your transportation of 500 francs. You save 3,000. And if you save like that for almost every single thing you're buying, you want to see at the end of the month, you have like 10, 20,000. Okay, so that's one of the ways I that's one of the ways i definitely definitely save another thing is I, I say it here all the time i go for quality i go for classy expensive for me majority of the time things that are more expensive are always better quality so if i go like i'll go to chinatown right and buy a pair of shoes for three thousand and after three months the shoe gets bad i'll rather walk into a shop like aldo and get a pair of shoes for twenty thousand, which will last me like three to four years you get the drill so i know that when i bought this thing i'm not thinking of buying again yes there are times that i go for those cheap things it just depends but majority of the time i'd rather buy something more expensive and durable and i know that okay i'm done with this i'm not thinking about this thing again so that's something i do and then last but not least i do a lot of diy projects sometimes I always do my calculations it's all about am i saving more or i'm making am i making am, am i saving more or i'm spending more if i see that okay i want to do yoga for example and i do all my calculations and i see that everything that i'm supposed to buy to do that yoga is more expensive trust me i'm not doing the diy but if i look at if i do all my calculations and i see that okay if i 
buy as i want to buy like this it's going to be cheaper then i am definitely doing it so yes guys this are just a few ways i say it all the time to be a wife see to be a wife especially if you are not working no? at least i have side hustles if you are one of those women who is not working you don't have anything you don't have to be spending like mad you have to be saving you have to sometimes i'll even tell, I'll tell women like go and go and join in a weekly or monthly janky that is going to help you like see guys what janky has done for me ha i don't know how they call janky in other language languages but janky is just basically monthly contributions yes that you save a particular amount of money and then i don't know how to explain it but each month one person is collecting the money and yeah if jangi has saved me jangi has helped me guys i've seen like when you walk and you don't you don't have a jangi you're not saving in any way you don't see how much money you make but you see jangi jangi has made me to know that seeking and you're doing well <laughs> you're doing well because the amount of money that i'm supposed to take for my jangi i'm just like oh my god if i did not have this jangi if i was not saving this amount every month i wouldn't know how much money i'm making you get so that's just it guys i just said i should share this tip because sometimes a lot of women are they're really stressed with these things like if they give you money you are a woman if they give you money you know that okay maybe you're one of those women who your husband does not give you any pocket money your husband just the only money your husband gives you is just money for the house what do you do i'll just tell you to use your head if they give you 200k for the month for everything in your house use your head and keep 50,000 it is the smart women that win i'm not telling you to to go and cut it and then it will not be eating well use your head know the cheap places know where see guys i know where all these supermarkets that have sales when i have them you know because majority of the supermarket when you go there they take your number so sometimes when they have sales and all that they send see guys i will when i hear oh complex is here on sale i go check the expiry date i buy this one is on sale i buy i buy i follow a lot of sales because i know that it's going to be really really helpful because i know that it's, it it helps me that's how i'll take to save my money you get so yeah guys that is just it i thought i should just give these tips here are you a stay-at-home mom do you have problems saving money or having a little money for yourself what are the things you do let's talk more in the comment section thank you guys very much for watching this vlog and i'm going to see you on next week's vlog love you Bye.